Hey YouTube, this is Renaissance Man, and what I've got here is a Bofang dual band VHF UHF micro HT. And I picked this up for $60, brand new. And I will put up the link uh, to show you where to get it. Uh, basically, it's um, it's a UHF VHF, uh, or basically it's a two meter uh, 440 uh, handheld uh, ham radio. Uh, has two watts of output power. Uh, the the one that I bought, uh, which is the the newer ones that are out now, uh, comes with the dual band rubber duck antenna. And, um, of course, a belt clip, battery, battery charger. And uh, let me just go over um, some of the things that this radio does. And, uh, and we'll get into some more details here later on. Uh, basically, it's um, up there at the top. Uh, you've got your... Um, if we put it in a... VFO mode. Uh, VFO uh, means to uh, just change frequencies. Okay, so you can see that the top display is uh, UHF or 440, and the bottom display is 2 meter or VHF. Uh, it, the, the radio is a dual display and it is dual band, but it, that's not to be confused with dual receive. So it's not like uh, it's not like a, a three or four hundred hour radio where you can uh, receive on both uh, bands. So um, if you're listening to the VFO here at the top, you can hear what's going on up there. If you want to jump down to the bottom, you can hear what's going on there, but you can't hear what's going on on both. OK. Um, it has a uh, it has a, a, a dial encoder up here um, so if you want to um, go to your memory locations you would put the uh, you would hit the UV button once and go up there to the top and then you want to hold down UV and then that puts you into the memory preset mode. So all these frequencies here are ones that I programmed into the radio earlier. Uh, I just got the radio in today. So uh, so this is how you would access your <coughs> memory channels, the ones that you know, the ones that you program in. Um, the radio uh, is not capable of alphanumeric display, so you cannot label these uh, you're just going to have to get into the habit of knowing which frequencies are which repeaters. Um, so basically, here's a, uh, a local 440 repeater. I'm inside here uh, on the ground level of an apartment and with a dual band duck rubber duck. And you can see it's full dead quiet. So, um, radio is, uh, I mean, it's a $60 radio. I mean, it's, it comes in different colors for the case. Um, it's got pretty decent audio from this little speaker. Uh, again, this is the UV3R. Um, it, it's not very difficult to get around in, but I'll show you some things that I think will help when you do get this radio, or if you already have it and you don't know quite how to set it up yet. So let me just uh, fix this tripod real quick. Okay, so basically, uh, if you're in the VFO mode, um, which is right here, so this is the VFO mode. Now, if you want to get around, um, you got to turn this knob at the top. You got to pull it out, like so. You got to pull up on it. And then you can turn it to change frequencies, okay? 
Now this is important. If you want to zip around real quick, here's what I suggest you do. You hit uh, menu and then you turn the encoder over to sh uh, to step. Okay? And then you hit the UV button and you can change that to 25KZ. Okay? And that'll help you zip along a little bit quicker. Okay? When you're when you're trying to get around a little bit faster okay so this changes the steps now when you get closer to your destination okay um, and you want to tune in something that has a, a, a weird step like 5 kz's so let's say um, actually you want to be down here on the bottom menu this is something I found out about this radio step 25 UV and then push to talk okay then jump back up to the UHF band and you'll see it goes from five thousandths up to thirty thousandths okay so let's say you're uh, let's say the frequency you want is uh, four four three one two five uh, you can see it's skipping it so you can always just drop down menu once you get to your general area, you can just go ahead and change the step and put it back to 5KC. Hit the UV button, and now you can now you can bring up 443125. So that's how you navigate around as far as the VFO is concerned. Um, if you if you have something you want to program there. Um, you got let's say that's the output of a repeater four four three one two five then you're gonna to wanna to go into the menu and this is where you wanna set your transmit code which is the PL lock tone um, once you've set it then you wanna to go to shift or offset now offset for uh, 440 is always five megahertz and generally uh, the shift is in the minus direction. So uh, there's your offset, which is 5 megahertz, and minus shift, and you've got your tone in there. Um, and then you just go ahead and push to talk, and then you would just key up that repeater and uh, kerchunk it. Then if you want to save it, uh, it's just a matter of hitting um, the function button over here on the side, function, and then UV, and that brings up the next memory location. Oh, you want to scroll to the next one and then hit UV again to lock it in. Um, the scanner in this is, let me put it back into uh, memory mode. Uh, the scan in this is basically, um, you want a function button here and then UV. Oh, sorry. Function, menu is your scanner. Function menu. It's not a fast scanner, um, but you can see that uh, it works relatively well, but it's not, I mean, if, if you need, you know, if you're going to put public safety frequencies and all that, then you're better off just using a scanner, uh, but you can put, um, as you can see, you can put uh, public safety frequencies in the radio without any problem. Okay, as long as they're within the operating bands of the radio, which is uh, VHF and UHF. Um, some of the other features, oh, if you want to stop scanning, or if you want to scan in a different direction, you can just turn the knob and it'll go back. Or you can turn it to the right and it goes up. You can also stop scanning by hitting the push to talk. Okay. Some of the other features of the radio is you've got this... Um, it's got a little light on it, a little flashlight right there. Okay. Or you can put it into the FM radio mode just by pressing and holding that. There you go. Use the ladder, Tabasco. Are you one of us introducing Tabasco? Okay, so that's FM radio. That's all it picks up is basically FM radio. You can also store these into memory locations for your favorite FM stations. To turn that off, 
you just press and hold it in and you can go back to the regular uh, bands. Your volume is basically you want to press volume and then work the rotary knob up here to raise and lower. You'll find that you really won't need much volume at all. Uh, it's pretty loud for a little radio. I'm, I'm really shocked. Um, basically you have here on the side you have the input for the charger plug okay and then right here is the jack for the speaker mic that came with the radio also this is where the programming cable would plug into uh, if you wanted to program the radio on a computer um, and when you're done messing around with it put the rotary knob back down um, basically it's a it's a baby walks on essentially uh, $60 and I've gotten good reports. I've already used it uh, outside, and I've hit and, you know hit all the repeaters in the area that are close by. Um, I've hooked it up to an external antenna, and I've talked uh, simplex to somebody that was probably oh about ten or twelve miles away, no problem. So it's a good little radio, um, limited. In its capabilities, it's certainly not a Yesu or uh, you know or one of the big band, uh, the big brands rather. Um, it may not do everything that the Walkson does, but for sixty dollars, you can't go wrong. Uh, no, it doesn't have a DTMF keypad, so you can't do any direct entry, and you cannot uh, turn things on and off with DTMF codes. But basically. Um, if you spend a little bit of time just going through the VFO and bringing up your repeaters that you use and then just pun punching in the code and the offset and the shift uh, programming it in you've got yourself a good little dual band uh, radio here for $60 so this is the Bofang UV3R I hope uh, I hope this video helps you in getting it set up. Uh, just send me a, a PM if you need some more information, and I'll I'll try to make some more detailed videos about setting up this radio. Thanks for watching.